Welcome to Words, Books and Letters. Today in the studio with me we have Mr. Edward Lee, who is a Grand Chaplain of the Rosicrucian Order located in San Jose, the headquarters is located in San Jose, California. Mr. Lee, welcome to Words, Books and Letters. Thank you so much. Mr. Lee, as a chaplain, yes. it must be your duty or your, your calling, I suppose, to counsel people. Mm -hmm. what, what kind of counseling do you find you have to dispense to members of your order? Well, first of all, we, we do, when I say we, we have others beside myself who, uh, who are class masters and others who do have visitors who are students of the Rosicrucian Order and sometimes persons who are not students of the Rosicrucian Order who would like to find out what we're doing and what we're studying. Basically, though, if you're talking, if you want to narrow it down, I'll give you an example. A person would uh, visit my office, for example, and uh, say that I am having a problem uh, with my family life in as much as it affects my Rosicrucian studies. See, we don't count counsel people the way a sociologist might. We're, we're not sociologists, you see. How can I achieve some sort of balance and harmony and explain to these uh, folks at home what I'm doing so that I may study in peace, you see? And so we offer them various suggestions. We don't interfere with their lives. We don't try to tell them, and you go tell your husband this, that, and the other. No, no. The thing is we try to encourage harmony and encourage openness and, and, and encourage love, you see? But uh, we leave it up to the individual, you see. And, uh, or people come and uh, try to uh, they, uh, ask questions concerning a particular aspect of the study. Uh, I don't understand this phenomenon. You talk about karma. Can you explain more about that uh, so that I can have a better understanding of it? And so uh, I, I will do that and uh, try to explain uh, what uh, we feel it is and what we feel it isn't and uh, hopefully they, they, they will be uh, satisfied with that and then they go back to their studies at home uh, 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 hopefully with clearer understanding after speaking to me that's not guaranteed though you see but i do the best i can all right um do you have to to for one of a better word to yeah. preach a sermon or give a lecture in well, every yeah. place you go yeah oh you see the the word chaplain might denote or infer that i'm giving a preaching a sermon that's a, a, a ceremonial title uh, I give lectures uh, in uh, formal settings. I give, uh, I conduct classes in uh, more informal settings. This is what I have done at the uh, at the lodge, the Kairi Lodge here in uh, Trinidad, uh, and I conduct classes at what is called the Rose Qua University in San Jose, which I, I conduct an all week. Uh, long class which clarifies many aspects of the Rosicrucian studies you see and uh, yes uh, you can give public talks as I have done here at the, the Holiday Inn uh, to uh, let the uh, people who are not students find out what the Rosicrucian order is doing I'm not the only one doing this and there are others who are traveling and uh, doing this as well we are trying to emphasize to uh, the uh, general public the Rosicrucian order is is not this for some reason this business about secrecy has uh, uh, been bothering a lot of people but uh, we've we've been letting people know that we are here to help and to explain to them what who and what we are you say uh, and it's very very uh, strange that uh, this whole business of secrecy seems to have caught on when when the, this is not what we're about it at all you see 